I understand. I pressed that. It doesn't it doesn't go for me. Okay, come, come, let's go. I'll just do Aleph for you and then we'll continue for base, right? Anybody who happens to have Lakuti Sikha's Dalid in their house, Korach. It says, and there's a midrash which is called Seder Olam. You can take this picture off if you want to. The Seder Olam. It says there's a book which is called Seder Olam. Okay, there we go. There we go. It says in a book called Seder Olam that the argument with Korach and his group against Moshe and Aaron happened immediately after the spies. And what's the proof? Because <clears throat> Datan and Aviram, they said, Datan and Aviram said, hey, you're not even bringing us into the Holy Land. You're not even going to bring us, you're not bringing us into the Holy Land. How did he know they're not bringing us into the Holy Land? That was after the spies. So the spies came back and Moshe Rabbeinu, they said, Moshe Rabbeinu, you took us out of Egypt to kill us in the desert? This indicates that the whole thing happened, the whole story of Korah happened after the spies came back and God got mad at them and etc. And God said, you have to wander around for 40 years. So a lot, we have to understand. Is Madu, I'm, on the screen? I'm finished with that. I'm doing another sikha, okay? I'll do another sikha. I didn't... Uh, yeah, different one. Okay. I, uh, yes. That's right. This is it. Very good. Okay. How do I? Yeah, we're just losing time. Okay. Darf Menferstein. There we are. <clears throat> Darf Menferstein. We have to understand. Can you see my pointer? Is my pointer pointing? Darf Menferstein. We have to understand. For Vos hat. But <clears throat> Korach, there's these little signs over here. Korach, Upkavard, why did he wait with his argument against Moshe and Aaron until then? I mean, he was arguing against Moshe being the ruler and Aaron being the, the coin guttel. Moshe was declared ruler way before that. And Aaron also was the coin guttel before the whole story with the spies. Why did he wait until the spies and the Jews were refusing to leave, enter Israel until he started his argument against Moshe. Why? The tzvi, the, the tzivoy from the Abish to the commandment from God to <clears throat> the commandment from God. So there, there are these icons over here that cover over the words, and I can't. That men should tsunemen the avoda from the bochorin that we should take the service from the firstborn and give it over, give it over to Aaron and his sons. When did this happen? When did Aaron become the head? Matan Torah, and Matan Torah, Matan Torah was almost a year before this whole thing happened. Other, actually, it was a year, more than a year. Other mishahu kama mishkan, or when the mishkan was set up, and Rosh Chodesh Nisan. And that was a few months before this whole argument with Korah. <clears throat> the call of this, according to the opinion, every all opinions is Kohana Gadola the Aaron, that Aaron was made into a high priest, was as a Royce Karufan, the Machloik, because this was uh, brought about the argument with Korah. It's just not working for me. I'm sorry. It's not going down. This is Gavan Bepoil, Bishmin in the Miluim. When was uh, when was <coughs> when was the when was Aaron made into the high priest? This was on the eighth day of the Miluim. Thus says Shishi Basivan, the sixth day of Sivan with a, a whole year before that. Rosh Chodesh Adar. In other words, why did Korach wait 
for the spies to come back and for the Jews to refuse to enter Israel and get punished. And all of a sudden he stands up and says, I'm making an argument against Moshe and Aaron, <clears throat> who says you could be leaders. Moshe and Aaron were made leaders a long time before. Aber, but, my son Maraglim, the story of the Maraglim is given, Asach Shpeta was a lot later. Un <clears throat> is farbinden, that it was connected with Tisha B'Av. Tisha B'Av is a long time after Aaron was made Kohen, and that Moshe was the leader. Is farvos hat Korach, why did Korach net, net get creaked of Moshe? Why did he not make a war against Moshe and Aaron and earlier, why did he wait biz noch der Maisa Maraglin? Why did he wait until after the Maraglin, which was about a year after Aaron was chosen to be leader and also even more than Moshe was chosen? I feel though, even if you want to say, as the Ikar Machlokas, that the main argument with Korach is given was. <coughs> And this is what it says, Rashi. Remember we learned yesterday, and we learned the Chumash, what Elit Safan ben Uziel was, he was appointed to be the head of Kahat, the, tr- the family of Kahat. Is Dach Oich de Hasmanos from Elit Safan. Also, when was Elit Safan chosen to be the, the leader of Kahat? That's what Rashi says. The, another one of the things that, that, the, that angered Korach. This was a Sach Freer. Elit Safan, he was chosen to be the head of Kahat a lot earlier. The men, when we count, when they counted the Levites, which counting the Jewish people was in the beginning of the month of Iyar, which was several months earlier. And it was also before the, the spies came back. The spies came back in Av, which was a lot later, which is three months later. The Korach has a machloikas, he began his machloikas after Tisha B'av. We have to say that the argument with Korach was, must have been connected with somehow or other, some connection to what the Moraglim did, to what the spies did. I just have to put this thing up myself because it's just not going for me. Okay, why isn't it going down? Please, is there some logical or illogical explanation? It's just not moving. Hello. I want to scroll down. I would like to. Your base. Did, did, you first tr- did you first try double clicking on the image? I click double clicking and triple clicking and quadruple clicking and it just doesn't go down. Now it's going down. The now t- you can control it. The Taina from the Maraglim what was the argument of the Maraglim? Was Shoin Gered, like we said before, the, what did the Maraglim want? The spies? As Mendarv Zayn Upgad Zundert from Welt. We should be separate from the world. The spies wanted to sit and learn Torah. Their contention was only for God. They were holy people, they didn't, but they didn't want anything to do with the physical world in general. They liked the land of Israel. It was very nice. The commandments, everything, wonderful. But it's too much trouble being in the world. The spies said, being in the desert is ideal. We talked about this last week. They wanted to be separate from the world. That's a Jew. A Jew is a holy person. Everyone sees he's holy. He's surrounded by clouds of glory. He gets fruit from heaven. Who gets fruit from heaven? But only the Jews. That signifies, that's what a Jew is. He's God's people. God feeds him. God gives him to drink. God gives him to protection. Right? That's a sign that God loves us. That's a Jew. We're going to go into the land of Israel. We're going to be like everybody else. They didn't want to. In the Reber, therefore, Havim Zegavolt, Eden, Zalman, Blaben, and Minbar. Therefore, they wanted the Jews to remain in the desert. Bechadei, in order, as Velt, Zal, as Velt, Zal Zay, Nitsh Teren, that the world would not interrupt them from their being connected to Hashem. Durach Limur Torah, by means of learning the Torah. Ah, Bar Moshe, Bar Moshe Rabbeinu, Hatzay Ge'enfer, Moshe Rabbeinu said, to the spies as Maiso The main thing is learning Torah is great, but the main thing is your deed, what you do. That's what we're learning in the Mimer also, right? Is the Shavah B'Tzedakah. 
that doing deeds, this is what really is going to fix up the world. You have to learn the Torah. What's the question? But learning the Torah helps the world spiritually. Doing the commandments, that's what God really wants. He wants us to be in the world. Right? It's no trick to be a Jew and to believe in God if you're on the desert surrounded by clouds eating manna that's coming from God. The trick is to be in the world and to not only that the world doesn't affect us, that we affect the world. That's a big no novelty. That's why the Jews were picked. When their takli said, Eloi, is davkavdod, maisa mitzvahs v'gashmiz. The whole purpose of the Jewish people is doing the commandments physically. The difference between Torah and the commandments is the Torah of us, ir, inyan, is their dachavan, it's understanding, is zayin and Quran. zayin and Quran. Or Shidna Madrigas, there's a lot of different levels. Einer ha takilein, klener hasaga. One person has a, 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 a less understanding. When Einer ha takresa understand, another person has a bigger understanding. Right? There's Jews that they, they, they learn the Talmud, they can tell you what they learned five years ago. Everything, every toast for every this. And there's Jews that they can't tell you what they learned five minutes ago. They just don't understand it. There's different types of Jews. So Torah is relevant to every Jew but on a lot of different levels. There's some Jews, they can't sit more than three, four minutes and learn. Just they can't do it. You call it ADHL, call it whatever you want to. They just can't sit and learn. It's very difficult. And there's other Jews that all they want to do is sit and learn Torah. That's the ideal thing. If you'd lock them in a room, they would be the happiest people in the world. That's the Torah. Masha'en came mitzvahs, which is not the case. The commandments, the commandments, sign it, Allah, Yidin, Gleich. All the Jews are equal. When I put on tefillin, it's the same thing as if the Lubavitch already puts on tefillin. We're going to see in a minute that that's not so. We'll see that. The Maisa and Achas Tefillin, when I put on Tefillin, is Mashve Rabbeinu, <coughs> from Moshe Rabbeinu, putting on Tefillin, what Moshe Rabbeinu did, Makayim Geven, is, is Geven, the Zelber is the same thing what did a simple Jew. Chilukim, Zayin, and Da, in, there are differences are in, let's see, go. Kavanah Samitz was the intention of the commandments. Over in my Samitz was then actually doing the commandments. All the Jews are the same. You have to put it on your arm. You have to put it. It doesn't make it if your arm is connected to a stupid head or if it's connected to a smart head or it's connected to a, 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 a evil person's head or a, an arm of a Jew you put on the foot. And the Reber, therefore, the argument of Korah came immediately after the Miraglim. Korah had devoted, Korah knew that learn, as far as learning Torah goes, as Moshe Rabbeinu and Aaron Akoin were much, much higher than everybody else. Moshe Rabbeinu, he was the one who received the Torah. He was the first one to receive the Torah. Torah Tzivalanu Moshe. Dernach, afterwards, Moshe had the Torah learned with Aaron. Afterwards, Moshe... Afterwards, Moshe, thank you. Moshe learned Torah with Aaron, taught the Torah to Aaron. And afterwards, Dernach met the Bnei Aaron. Then after that, he taught the sons of Aaron. And then after that, he taught the Zikanian. And after that, he taught all the other Jews. Was thus made, which this means, oich, that the learning of the Torah from Moshe and Aaron is, <coughs> is Gavan was Nidblois freer. Not only did Moshe re receive the Torah first, Moshe and Aaron, but it was also much higher than anybody else in quality, the learning of Torah, than all the other Jews. When it came to Torah, Moshe was the boss. Korach's taina, Korach said, Maduatis nasu. Moshe, I admit you're the greatest in the Torah. But you just finished saying that the mitzvahs are the main thing, to go into the land. That's what the spies wanted, to stay in the land of, in, in, in the desert. Now you just finished saying that doing the commandments is the main thing. Maduatis nasu. If so, why are you lifting yourself over over everyone? Is given ben the maisa. This is regarding to action. In Torah, Moshe, you're the greatest, but in action, and you say action is the main thing. It's nothing. For mitzvahs maisa, you're not greater than me. Was is there zayin? Was is does then zayin and all the yidden gleich in learning in doing the commandments? All the Jews are equal. We're going to see that Korach was wrong. We're going to see. And therefore, 
Potter's on Machlokes, Angeheb, and therefore Mach, he began his argument, Ersh Noch, only after the spies. Noch then V, the Meraglin, after the spies came back and said, the Torah, Gavel, they wanted to separate themselves and just learn Torah and do spiritual things. Shablamen and Midbar, the spies, they wanted to remain in the desert and to be locked away from the world. When Oiv them on this, Moshe Rabbeinu answered, answered, Moshe Rabbeinu was of them. Moshe Rabbeinu answered in Nehman in the name from Hashem, as Mimuz Davka Ryan Gain, you have to go into the land of Israel in order to do the mitzvahs, the physical mitzvahs. And because of that, it's not re- worthwhile to remain in the desert. To be separated from all matters of the physical world. Vu men can haben grois grois hasagas. When in the in the desert, you can have tremendous understanding, deep understanding. Well, because it says Moshe Amaisa Waker, the main thing is deed. As soon as Korah heard that. Done is Korach Aroiskekumen. All of a sudden, Korach came out with his claim. Lamatis Nasu. If Moshe, the main thing is the commandments, then why do you make you think you're better than everybody else, Moshe? Vos is a Zoid the Grace Kite from Moshe and Aaron. How is Moshe and Aaron, how are they better than everybody else? How? In learning Torah. And Moshe, you just finished saying the Torah is not the main thing. Zayin Amayla and the Gabi Allah under Yidin is Dach Nor is only in learning Torah. Trying to scroll down. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Is Ruchnis the Ge'inyan, Moshe and Aaron, their whole thing is in spiritual things. When in Limur Torah and learning Torah. Abri in them. But the main thing, Moshe, you just finished saying the main thing? Maisa mitzvahs gashmis, so all of us are equal. If so, says Korach, Moshe, step down. We're going to go into Israel eventually. You're not the leader anymore. You're not the leader. Everybody's the leader. We're all equal. No one's different from anybody else. Some are spiritual people, some are physical people, some are Torah people, some are mitzvahs people. Everyone is equal. You have no right to be the leader. No, Korach had a good point. In any case, he had a very convincing point because everybody agreed with him. Yeah. We're going to see what Moshe said to him. Moshe said, wait until the morning, and I'm going to show you who's right. And the Rebbe said, why did Moshe say wait until the morning? He could have said right now. We'll talk about it, God willing, tomorrow. Now a story.